Good afternoon. See you again. Um, last video we mentioned about HTTP. Okay, and uh, we're gonna talk about more about what is HTTP. So let's go to our note. Note. Okay, still not familiar. <laughs> okay, it's here. So we talked about in our last video when we do some click button or click a link, those actions in the browser, and it's gonna uh the browser will make a http request and uh, eventually the server will give us a, a response so what is http http is a protocol it's a request and a response protocol run on top of a tcp and ip protocol uh, it's used to uh, send and receive messages. Okay, um, uh, this edge protocol stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Okay, HTTP is the abbreviation of a Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and uh, IP is used for addressing. We have uh, so many. A computer or servers uh, on the network how can I know when I want to uh, find Google where is the server of the Google it's this we're using the IP to addressing okay it's like uh, the driver license for a person when you have that uh, driver license you can find Oh, sorry. Um, probably it's more like a uh, like like oh no 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 uh, address. Okay, when you have uh, an address, then we can go to the home to find where you are located. But IP address has some problem. Mm, like uh, uh, when we request a very large info uh, file, and uh, we the file will be divided or split into multiple packages to be sent over the network but uh, IP address cannot guarantee those packages send from the uh, server to the destination in the order okay and uh, they cannot IP address cannot guarantee every package okay will be sent to the destination and uh, 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 and IP address cannot guarantee uh, some uh, for some packages will be sent more than once. Okay, and those problem will be solved by TCP. Okay, on the destination, it will it will know uh, the order of the packages eventually can uh, compile into one and uh, sometimes uh, if some packages is lost tcp will be guaranteed uh, request another one like this and the HTTP is run on top of the tcp ip on the TCP HTTP protocol there is a very important information uh, yeah, there are two parts one is a request, one is a response. Re uh, request response is very easier to understand. Suppose we go to watch a movie and uh, when you, you have to buy the ticket, right? Then you have to ask, the cashier will ask you what you want and you tell what you want i want to watch this movie the, and at uh, uh, 7 30 uh, pm and this is the information the request information the same http when you click some link in the browser the browser will form this request called http request and uh, the event uh, the cashier will give you a ticket best you want want right and the server will um, also based on your request information okay and they give you response okay and the in request it will have two parts one is a header and one is a body 
but uh, uh, about it, not every HP request we're gonna have. Like uh, uh, request also have a uh, methods. Methods is like it's a get request, it's a post request, uh, it is a put request, it's a delete request. And the others, I, I, if I remember correctly, total is a seven, seven request methods. You choose what you want. But for uh, this playlist, when we do the classic web application, we only use two, like a get and a post. And for put delete in the restful application, you will you will, if you write letter, then you will use other options. Okay, so for the get request, it only has information in the header. Okay, uh, but the post information like when you post, which means you want to uh, sign up or submit some form so all your information about in the form it's gonna be in the body part okay so not every HTTP request gonna have a body for certain and the header is gonna have uh, like a uh, uh, first line gonna be like uh, what's your request type it's a get post one of them and uh, what's the URL like uh, suppose you are going to a uh, web like index.html this is the URL okay and then uh, uh, HTTP 1.1 this means uh, the HTTP protocol version because uh, if it's a for secure it's gonna be HTTP 2 and uh, uh, not a secure one default it's gonna be HTTP 1.1 this is the version number and it's gonna have other things is like accept Suppose uh, your browser, uh, you only accept for text HTML or text plan or image, okay, uh, image, uh, PNG, and others like this. And it will also have uh, uh, like a host, like a, what, what, what's the host, like google.com like this okay and I have others okay um, <clears throat> and if you have a query parameter it's gonna be like this query like a uh, search for Tina like this okay this is a query parameter you can continue like a username password uh, for the response response uh, also has uh, like this uh, in the response it also response header Head gonna have information like uh, um, uh, what's the oh like a protocol HTTP 1.1 and uh, this is a status code 200 means uh, okay means everything is fine HTTP 200 okay and uh, uh, others will be started at another like a content type. What's the content gonna be? A re uh, what's the content type? Which is the server find and return to the browser? Like uh, it's a text HTML. The content it contains, and then content uh, length. Right, and uh, you can see some uh, one, like a bytes, and then you will see something like uh, keep alive or e tag for the caching something. And uh, then after all the headers from the response, you will see a line break. This is a line breaker. Okay, very important. I will show you in the uh, later videos. Because when we write, suppose you want to create your own HTTP, you must have a, a line breakers after uh, like uh, the header. Then after that, it's gonna be uh, the what's the thing? The body like uh, you have HTML, right? HTML, and uh, you have a head, like head, right? Then you have a body. Oh, you, you cannot see. Okay, okay. And now you can see. Okay, like a body, 
and here will contain the information. And the, 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 the entire response, the entire response will be goes back to the browser and the browser will know how to uh, intercept this response. And uh, then the browser will display like uh, um, in intercept this uh, response uh, body line by line, then display all the things in the browser, then you will see what you are requested. So let me show, let's see a demo, okay. Okay, suppose uh, we are using uh, Chrome. Okay, let me make it larger. And uh, this is a network which can be used to um, record our request and uh, in the browser what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just go to the google okay like google and now google made so many requests okay so let's find out one because google here has the uh, like images for every request the image or i think it's gonna make a new request so I just uh, type to the Google and it has made so many requests let's just uh, find one okay a simple one oh, sorry hmm? I want this one to be smaller so we can take a look at like a Google we just take a look at this one okay click this one Google and uh, we make it larger and see here you can see the header and uh, this is the response. Uh, this is see here. This is a request URL, like a host, and you will see request method is get status code is a part of the response. Okay, and you can see the response header, like you can see the content coding, content length, and a content type, text HTML, and other cookie everything. And here is a request header like accept you what kind of things uh, the browser can uh, process here list everything text html like image all the things right like accept language and others and the method the host the path okay and uh, here is using oh sorry here is using https oh let's see here it's a secured, okay. So it's not a HTTP 1.1. It's gonna be HTTP uh, slash two. That's for the secured uh, network, okay, and others. And uh, this uh, here in this uh, tab, it shows response header and the request header. And uh, in the response, you will see what's actually returned to the browser, okay. So here is the information. Like you will see HTML. Uh, Why is it HTML? It's hard to see. Can you see HTML? My God, see HTML and the head and the metadata and probably you will see body. We will see body. Uh, let me search. Okay. Yeah. Cancel. I'm not familiar with about this. Control. I cannot see. You, you you can take a look at it by yourself. Definitely has about it because all the information is contains here. This response here, okay, is talking about whatever we draw here. Uh, sorry, here. Here. This is the response I show you. So when we make some uh, actions in the browser, all the things request response is uh, using the HTTP protocol okay and uh, in the HTTP it's uh, HTTP is just a request and a response protocol you browser will form the request and the server will uh, process the request grab everything you want they want and then it will return whatever um, uh, it, the HTTP server find then the browser will intercept or process the response and display what's in the response okay and uh, here HTTP server okay it can only do certain things 
And uh, that's gonna bring the next topic, which is HTTP server and uh, what HTTP server can do. And also uh, the HTTP container or, or web container. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video, a brief introduction about HTTP protocol and what are they, okay? And next video, we will talk about a server, web server, and the web container. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh, See you in next video. I should oh, look at it here. See you in next video. Bye-bye.